All right, guys, I just drove 20 minutes. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Check out this sick mountain behind me. There's a little DIY spot. Someone on Instagram had sent me a pin to and told me to come check it out. So I'm here now, but it looks like some tweakers have had like had a go at this, pulled the coping off and destroyed the backside of the ledge here. Um, there's a raised curve just here. That's pretty sick too. It's a manual pad right there. What else do we got going on here? A lot of space out here. The ground is like super smooth. There's a gap that goes over the dirt. It looks pretty sick and there's a rail. The rail's really sturdy, but um, yeah, I don't know where all this dirt come from. Like, I don't know what someone was trying to do, build some BMX jumps or something, but check out this rail, super sick. But um, yeah, it looks like some, I don't know, some tweakers maybe have like destroyed all this stuff and came here and smoked meth and collected a bunch of rubbish. There's a bunch of stuff just dumped. So it seems like whoever owns this property or whatever doesn't really care anymore. It'd be a cool spot to build, but then the possibility of like people coming and wrecking it, like clearly it's happened already. So I don't know. There's a really cool China gap here. Check it out. How's that? Pretty sick, huh? Quick little China gap in between the two concrete slabs. The forms are here. There's also a Minecraft looking big bank kicker thing. You could hit it from, you could hit it from here over the other side if you wanted to, but I've just been rolling in on it. One, two, three, four, five, and there's a couple more cement slabs up there, but it's quite long, as you can see. As soon as I rolled up in my car, it just stank so bad, like it smelled like a dead body. And as I was driving in, there was two mounds of dirt on either side of this grave looking ditch. Should probably go have a look if there's a body in there. Check out this Minecraft type, Minecraft type beat. <laughs> Looks like they've poured some cement here and put that there. And then just a bunch of rubble on the other side. Maybe it was somebody was planning on making the other side into like a, a wedge thing or something, but it's pretty cool. But yeah, there's a bunch of rubbish. There's like abandoned fridges and stuff up there. All stuff you could use at a DIY. But um, yeah, here by myself today, so keeping my head on a swivel you know since i'm already here bit of a bummer that someone destroyed that ledge i'm just going to get what i can get on the raised curb and the manual pad there and then have a little explore around i think brought my broom so i come well prepared this ground is ridiculously smooth for a diy it kind of feels like like a new skate park ground without the slipperiness if that makes sense That last trick hurt. I think I'm done skating. <laughs> I mean, I got I got into the blunt, slid it, got out. As soon as I landed, like my ankle, anytime it goes this way, 
it's tight and it just boom it just hurt like right at the bottom of my ankle where the fracture was so I think I'm done skating for today so a lot of people on my channel naturally are here from the DIY diaries series that I did back in Australia I'd love to build another DIY somewhere could be here I don't know it's a bit far though it's just like 25 minutes from the house I want something kind of closer like 10 minutes maybe, but I'm being really picky. There's nothing that I would want more than to build another DIY spot. Shouts out to, I think it was Kobe, that told me about this spot on Instagram. Cheers for uh, letting me know about this spot, it's been fun. So the other day, I actually went out and bought a dirt bike. So I just bought a dirt bike, woo hoo Life ain't a game, no more, it's feeling me, yeah, yeah. It's a fun little bike, I brought it with me today to uh, ride around the DIY a little bit, have some fun on it. Cause there's no one around, there's no one that can complain about the noise. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do right now. Guys, I should've brought my GoPro, but I forgot it. So next time. <laughs> my best to try to I didn't bring my GoPro but I'm gonna try to my best to just hold the, the iPhone in my left hand yeah that coping there's a ton it's a ton of dumping going on here guys mattresses just random rubbish this fridge from a convenience store that little kids trike there a little table and assorted stuff but it's a really nice view so this is one of the ditches I was talking about earlier that I seen when I drove in so you can see there's both two mounds of dirt here and then a, a ditch i don't know how deep that is but it's it's definitely not six feet it's probably like i don't know five feet or something but yeah kind of sketchy there's nothing in this one there's another one over there let's go take a look we've got a siren hope they're not for me here's the second ditch yeah nothing in it sus though what is this what are they doing are they building a what do they call coffin jumps or something it's definitely been dug out with the excavator. It couldn't do this by hand, obviously. But yeah, maybe some bodies are going to be dumped out here soon. I don't know. It's like some crazy medical IV drip stuff in there. I don't really want to touch that bag because you don't know if there could be empty syringes or something in there. Weird. It was an ambulance. I think we're good. Nice seven grand trip to the hospital in the back of the ambulance. Mama, mama. Creepy little little doll here. Definitely been some uh, shooting out here as you can see. Nice buck shot. Same with here. Shot the hell out of whatever that is. It's like American wasteland out here. You know what this whole background behind me reminds me of? You ever seen that video clip for Action Bronson's Easy Rider? And he's like, ride the Harley into the sunset and there's like mountains like this. I'm getting those type of vibes right now. Oh, and there it is, guys, all the empty shells from all the shooting that goes on out here. I wonder when they shoot at night during the day. I mean, there's no one really around, so you could probably shoot during the day out here. You know what this place might have been before? I have a feeling it might have been like a chook shed. Not a chook shed, but like long buildings with like chicken coops in them, maybe. And then they knocked it, possibly, because there's a lot of farms out here, so. Maybe this is like a chicken farm or something. I don't know. What do you guys think it is? 
We've got another fridge, two door fridge. It's black. It's got some some assorted stickers on it. Temecula Motorsports. Shouts out to Temecula Motorsports. Another little ledge here. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, very small, but it's pretty sick. This is on there, on there. Like you're not pulling that off. So there must have been more stuff on this side. I'm gonna head home right now, I'm getting hungry. The sun's going down. If you guys haven't checked out eveningmob.com yet, we've got these dope tote bags. Perfect for carrying things in, for like skating or painting graffiti or whatnot. Really fun bags, or it could just be a library bag. Whatever you're into, eveningmob.com. Go and grab one today, join the mob today. Like you jump, like you jump, like you jump.